I don't even know where to begin. This is going to be a lot. Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is episode two of my wardrobe clean out series. If you haven't seen the first episode, it'll be somewhere up here, somewhere down there. It was like hoodies and t-shirts, graphic tees, casual tees, whatever. That's what it was. So I would recommend checking that out if you're kind of into this thing. Today's episode, installment, whatever you'd like to call it, it's a bit of a weird one because I only did like jackets and coats, which I didn't really expect, but it turns out I have a lot more than I thought, so that's kind of what ended up happening. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I just thought because it was winter, it was appropriate to go through all the bulky things, get them out of my wardrobe, that will make a huge difference now. Yeah, I try a lot of them on, which is why it ended up being just jackets and stuff. But I hope that's okay. I have a lot, all different colours and styles and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and let's get into the declutter. Okay, so here is a bunch of my jackets. I've got a few more shoved right in there. I'm going to try some on for you guys, but I'm just going to take them all out the wardrobe, I think, because they're so bulky. So let's just start at the beginning of this section. So the first jacket I have is a classic camel coat. This is from All About Eve. I really like their stuff. I will show it to you guys. This is it here. I feel like it fits really, really well. I'm sorry I can't like show you the full view, but I've literally got my camera basically up against my window. I can't put it through the window, so yeah, I apologize. Maybe I can do a little one of these. There we go. Does that work? Is this okay? Can you see it? All right, I'm gonna mess up the camera so bad by doing this non-stop. Yeah, this one is nice and warm, nice and thick, and I feel like it's a classic sort of piece that you could dress up, dress down, so this one is a keeper. And I'll just quickly get this guy out the way. This one is new, but I wanted something similar, but in grey, so I haven't had a chance to wear this one yet, but like it literally arrived two days ago. And it is from the Iconic and I ended up having a voucher and it was on sale so I spent like seven dollars no 12 I thought it was gonna be seven but it was 12 because apparently I can't do bats but like I just got this one I love it I can actually wear it with like bulky things underneath so I'm keen to give this a wear I want to look a bit smarter but also warm okay there is that one and there goes my doorbell BRB a few moments later I've come back with glasses on because I actually can't see it all but that was my Colourpop delivery, so I'm very excited. I don't know where I was up to with that jacket, but uh, basically I'm keeping it. I want to keep these on, but I don't know if the glare is annoying, because I can see it in the screen. I've got this nice green glare when I look directly at the camera, but I really can't see. You know what, screw it. Let me clean these guys, because you can probably see how filthy they are. And I'm going to be able to see the rest of this video, because it sucks not being able to. 12 seconds later. Cool, 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 cool. Let's just do the next one. This guy is also a new purchase. Okay, yes, I bought three jackets in the last week. Leave me alone, please. I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this because I love my puffer jackets. As you'll see, I have a few. This guy is from Factory. It is so big, but that's okay. I reckon this is one that you could easily dress up or dress down because it's patterned and also because it's kind of a crop. So it's not going to like overwhelm you too much. It does a little bit right now, but like it's not as bulky as a full size puffer, which I have another one from Factory. I might show you that one now, um, but that one's like a real beast. Yes, I bought this quite recently. I just can't help it. I just go into Factory and I want to buy everything. Okay, let me show you the other one. It looks a little deflated now, actually. This is also from Factory. This is like a men or unisex. And they have some stuff unisex now, which is pretty cool. Although technically everything can be unisex if you want. He doesn't actually look as bulky. He looks a little, little sad, but that's okay. I love this one. It is so warm and it's like crotch length, let's be real. Yeah, I don't really want to move the camera just to be like, this lines up exactly at my crotch. That sounded creepy. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a bit different than being like, look, this goes mid-thigh or to my knee. And being like, look at my crotch. I'm overthinking it. Honestly, I just don't want to move the camera. Um, worst YouTuber ever. Moving along, let's get into some other jacket. You know what? I'm gonna grab one that I know I'm gonna get rid of because we haven't got rid of anything yet. This guy. This, I think it's from Boohoo. I used to wear this one a lot actually, but I haven't touched it in like mm, two years. Oh, that's kind of cute, but no. 
and I'm not gonna wear it. I haven't worn it in so long. I think it's just the shininess of it that I'm not into. I don't know. I just put it on. I'm like, it's cute, but no, I'm not gonna wear it. So this guy can go. It was well loved. Definitely worn a whole bunch, but time to go. And speaking of another one that should go, actually, how convenient two in a row that have to go. This one. This I got from Naked. N a hyphen k d dash k d whatever. Um, where is my armhole? Oh, I kind of like this now. I have it on, but I haven't worn it. Uh, no, I haven't worn it. It's got to go. It's taken up room. It's so big. I really like it. Oh, at least, okay, I'm hoping maybe one of you guys would like buy it and appreciate it more than I did. Um, because I have literally never worn this. I, maybe once. No, I don't think I ever have. I basically bought this when Ryan and I were planning on going to New Zealand. Shameless New Zealand vlog plug somewhere because I was like you know it could be quite cold there at night I don't really know what to expect with the weather and at the time we hadn't particularly worked out exactly when we were gonna go so I was like I want just one really warm jacket in a kind of neutral color I ended up just taking a basic bitch Katmandu jacket which I gotta say I love that thing <laughs> so then this guy never got worn so I'll show you the link because this one is a long boy so it's a really long boy inside view and it's got like this kind of thing here on the inside. This is really not professional. You think I'd film cutaways or something, but honestly, it's winter. There's only so much daylight left. And I don't have lights because apparently I keep buying clothes instead of getting lights. Excuse this terrible filming job. I will say goodbye to this little guy. Little guy? It is a big boy. I need to stop saying big boy. Oh, its actual brand is Sally and Circle. Um, but I got it off naked. This one here is a bit more lightweight i thrifted this in new zealand actually speaking of new zealand i do love this one it's like a varsity style and it's reversible which is pretty cool i love this color combo so this guy is a keeper do you want to see the other side i haven't actually worn it the other side yet so this is the other side it's a light brown still with blue nothing on the back this way right right cool but thrifting you can find the coolest jackets so that one is a keeper here's one that it's time is truly up this is just from target hot options do they even still have hot, hot options at target i don't know i haven't really looked at target clothes in ages i went in the other day to look at chi chi makeup and they had some really cute clothes but i didn't stop and actually browse but Target had picked up their games the last time I'd been there. Anywho, this is like, I've had this since I was 14. So it's gotten its use. Let me show y'all. So yeah, it's like, you know, mid thigh area ish. Fluffy insides. Let's go back up. This guy's actually pretty warm, but I just don't wear it anymore because I've got other jackets that are equally or more warm than I actually like the look of. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this one, but it's just a plain jacket. It's a jacket that's like really jackety, if you get what I mean. But yeah, I haven't reached for this in ages since I got like my long length Uniqlo puffer that you guys will see soon and like my big bulky green one. And I've got, of course, the IMG Teddy jackets because I am a basic bitch. I just haven't reached for this one. I have a feeling I might just end up up shopping it. But yes, goodbye to that one that has been in my life for, oh my God, eight years because I'm 22 and I'm an old bitch. Let's look at this guy. This guy is new. This guy, if anyone here follows me on Instagram, passive aggressive hint. I'm sorry, I am so annoying in this video. It's the first day of my period, okay? I'm just extra annoying. But this guy, I will when I got my license because that finally happened. This is from Glassons. I love this one. I love red still, obviously. I'm not off the red bandwagon. And it's nice and warm, nice and fluffy. It's cropped, it's cute. It's a keeper. I'm doing it as a mess. Let me just finish this chunk here. Okay. This one I bought from like one of those little boutiques that they have in shopping centers that like aren't really a chain. I don't even remember which one, but I know it was from like one of those ones. I don't like this one. I feel like my mom will kill me if I get rid of it, but I've tried like three times to get rid of it. So I think this time I'm going to be firm. I don't think it's ugly. It's just not my particular style. It's just like this, I don't know if you can see, belted one. Oh, there's an actual belt on it. Apparently I don't even know how it works. It's got like a belt loop. Oh, I would do this. I see. Shows you how little I've worn it. Nope. What? I'm confused. Anyway, I clearly don't know how it works, so I shouldn't even own it. Basically, I got it because I had to go to a wedding. Shout out to Karina if you're watching this. It was your wedding. And I just needed something to wear over the top because I had like a dress that had a low back and a lot of titty and stuff and I didn't want to be cold. So it was more for practical purposes, but like I don't really go to anything fancy, so I don't really need it. 
and I've got some other nicer ones that I like like I prefer that more structured style than this flappy thing can't really tell you where it's from I wasn't it says Maxim on the tag but I'm sure you guys know those little boutique shops I'm talking about it's not like fancy boutique ones like those ones that you can just buy a whole bunch of like clubbing and party clothes and stuff one of those ones yeah next up is this one this one is from jj's it is a large i thrifted this it was around the time i started watching buffy i think and like spike and angel just had their long black jackets and leather jackets and stuff and i was just like oh my god but they are so hot and i am so not so it does not have the same effect on me it's definitely cool but i've never worn it so i think it should go it's again like on the thigh a bit higher than mid thigh on me so i think this guy can go but yes goodbye to my spike and angel dreams then we have this one also from that same sally and circle brand i will be keeping this one though this is just a simple black like silky suddenly looking bomber pretty lightweight but i reckon that's good for just like a night out where you want something a bit light it's classic black goes with everything so a keeper and then another thrifted piece Probably one of my all-time favourite thrifted pieces. Besides a pair of Wrangler jeans that I got for like 16 bucks that fit perfectly. And I lost them. How do you lose a pair of jeans? I don't know. Along with those and this and one other jacket. I might show you that one next. This is one of my favourite thrifted pieces. I actually showed this in a thrift haul I did a while ago. But it is just like a real sporty jacket. I love my red, white and black. And it is just sick. I love it. It is great. A keeper. All right, let me show you the other thrifted one real quick. Oops, I knocked the camera. This is this bad boy. I'm not going to put it on just because it's so bulky. But I love this guy. I'm keeping it. It is from Ricky Nathan. I got it at Savers. Again, in the same thrift haul, actually. Actually, it was for my birthday not too long ago. And it is really warm. Like, I knew it would be somewhat warm, but it was warmer than I expected. Like, I knew it was going to be lightweight. But I'm rambling. I just love it. Okay, this is a keeper. That's why I'm throwing it because I love it so much. I'm powering through because I am hungry. And I know if I stop to eat, I'm not going to come back. This guy here, also from Factory, but this one I think will go. It is a medium. I kind of wish I bought a small in hindsight. I was so on board with neon. I still am on board with the neon trend. I don't know if that's dyed or not, but I still love it. Yeah, this color combination, I don't know. Like I just end up not wearing it. I feel like it was more the green rather than this blue. Then maybe I would have worn it more, but I thought it was sick and I never ended up wearing it. I definitely think it was kind of the blue in the end that put me off. Even though I bought it and it was blue when I bought it, but you know, you get things home and you're like, ugh, you know? Or is that just me? I'm sure it's not just me with the amount of these videos I watch on YouTube. <laughs> this one here is an Adidas jacket, the classic three stripe thing. I feel like this was such a big thing a few years ago. And I bought it and I was like, I'm gonna wear it with the leggings I have with the three stripes. Never did that because I looked like a dork. Here it is on. So this one I will definitely sell because it's added us more than only a handful of times. Also, my leggings had like the OG logo that was like the triangle. And this is the, is it the trefold. I don't know what it's called. So I didn't match when I wore it matching, which also put me on. And it's kind of warm. Like for a jacket, that's like a lightweight jacket. So it's pretty good. I mean, it's added us. So I would expect kind of better quality from then with the prices that you pay. But yeah, this one I'm definitely going to move on. Then we have another lightweight jacket that I thrifted. Was it in the same? thrift haul i think so i don't know i just never ended up wearing this it's honestly it's too noisy sorry if this is annoying i'm gonna take it off because it's too noisy it is definitely gonna go because i just never ended up wearing it i mean fortunately for me it was from an op shop so i didn't spend like a lot of money on that but still that could have been like some nugs from mcdonald's or something oh well goodbye to you also op shop thrifting like an op shop is where you thrift from like this team of people who don't know because I'm like switching my words all the time between like YouTube language which is very Americanized which is thrifting and thrift stores and Australia which is like op shops and op shopping so there you go did that help anyone? Don't know. Okay, a denim jacket. I'm surprised this is the first denim jacket we have come across. This one, I think I stole from my mum. So I might have to get it back. I don't know. But I don't think I'm going to keep this guy. I used to wear it a lot, but I just kind of stopped. I preferred the bulkier, oversized denim like we've got here. Sorry for all the hangers. So yeah, this one will go, but I can't tell you where it's going to end up. Because I don't know if my mum's going to want it back or not. And then, oh my god, I forgot that I had this. I used to wear this 
all the time and I completely forgot I had it. So we know it's gonna go. I used to wear this so often. This is from Cotton On. So it was like my go-to jacket when I didn't want to wear that black one that I showed you earlier. This is khaki. I had a huge khaki face. I still like khaki, but I don't wear it nearly as much. And it's definitely more lightweight than that black one as well. That's the length of it here. It's just like such a weird, I feel like it's a MySpace angle. Like, that's embarrassing. But yeah, this guy was well loved. I didn't even realize I still had it. I honestly forgot about it until I saw it in my wardrobe just then. So that's a definite sign that it should go. Okay, we have a cardigan. Just because it was chilling there, I'm gonna mention it. This one here, I used to wear it a lot. It's from Cotton On as well, but I haven't reached for it in ages. I have another similar cardigan that I like a lot more. So I think this one can go. So goodbye to this guy. And then this one, honestly, I cannot be bothered untangling it. It's a cute little fuzzy vest. I actually really like this one. It has a hood. It's very cute. I'm gonna keep it. And I feel like I'm gonna stop trying everything on at this point because I've already been filming for quite a while, like 40 minutes. I'm not even halfway through, so so This one I'm probably not gonna try on as well, just because I know it fits. I wear it all the time. It is my Katmandu puffer jacket. Kind of wish I got one with a hood, but oh well. It is so warm. This is like my go-to when it's cold and it's got the classic green inside. So I know I'm keeping this. I literally wore it like three days ago. And then we have my denim, oops, my denim jacket. This one I stole from my dad. It's from Mango and it is like so big and bulky on me, but I love it because I can get like huge hoodies underneath it. And I love that it's got the, is this shirling? I don't know what this is called. It's got this stuff on the thing, but this is a keeper for sure. So I've done this section. There's still a whole bunch of odd jackets over here to do that go like right into the corner. So let's do those. So here's another one of the few jackets that I said I bought quite recently. I honestly just wanted a real casual jacket that I could just throw on. It was just big and warm. I also wanted one that wasn't black because I felt like all of my more casual jackets were either black or patterned. And I just wanted something plain and grey. So I got this thing. It's super cozy. I feel like this is something I'm just going to grab and I'm going to like rush out the door and not even think about it. But I don't want the heaviness of a puffer. And yeah, just slouchy and chill. That's kind of what I wanted. This is from Factory. And yes, it's new, but like, give me a break if I want to have a few days. Oh my god, I've made a mountain on my floor. Oh my god. Dresses, dresses, dresses. Okay. This guy is from Uniqlo. I never wore it. This thing is so sick and I never wore it. I'm not going to justify keeping it, but it's like a cord, really lightweight, long thing. I just thought it would look sick. Guess what? Over an old black outfit. Oh, surprise, surprise. I just thought this would have been so cool. It's like a statement piece without it being like a loud in your face statement piece, but still a really long shirt thing. You could even wear this as a dress. Let me show you how long this thing is. Yes, here is my mountain of clothes. I really organized this well. As you can see, this is a long boy. I didn't stop calling everything a boy. You could honestly wear this as a dress if that was your thing. It's like pretty lightweight. I just never wore it. So it's definitely time for this one to go. This one here I know is gonna go. This is again from Cotton On. This is super lightweight. It's another one of those like a bit dressier of a jacket. It looks very smart, but like I've honestly only worn this like maybe one or two times. If that, where's my other buttonhole? What? What? I'm confused. Okay, I can't, whatever. This one again is quite long. It's a bit below the knees. Okay, and it apparently has a belt, which I've lost. I have no idea where that belt is. But yeah, this one definitely should go. I honestly forgot I had it. And then we have this orange guy from ASOS, which still has the tag on it. So that means it's going. This is from the brand Katka Rosanna. And I thought this would be so cool. Like it's bright colored, it's fun. Oh my God, I love it as I put it on, but I haven't worn it for like three years. Oh, it's so cute though. I don't want to get rid of it. Now that I have it on, I really don't want to get rid of it. Ooh, the sleeve length though. I'm not, no, I'm not into this sleeve length. Some people may like this sleeve length. No, the moment I saw my arms, I was like, uh-uh. So no, it is going. I reckon if this was like full length, I'd so be into it, but no. That's good because I nearly kept something with a tag on it that hasn't been worn in a few years. So thank you, sleeves, for giving me sense. And we have this one, which I love. This is from Rusty. It's a cord jacket that's got the fluffy inside. The shirling is it? Again, still don't know on the outside. And this like cool beige, sort of almost taupey, but not taupey. I don't know. This is sick. I love this guy. It's nice and warm. It's cute, it's like got a bit of structure to it. It's a keeper. This one here, I'm not going to try on because I tried it on in a recent haul. This I got off Depop actually from Kika Latif on YouTube and it's super fuzzy. It's from Zara and it is definitely a keeper because it's great in the cold. Oh, I forgot I owned this guy. This one here, where did I get you from? 
Cotton on again. I'm really killing the cotton on stuff. I used to love this. Oh my god, do I still love it? No, it's not my style. I don't wear the white one anymore. Why would I wear the red one? It can go. I have other red jackets. So say goodbye to this one. But I did get a lot of love from this. Look how weird. It definitely has to be worn. It's not a go. I didn't realize I had so many jackets. I keep moving some out and then more appear. This is going to take longer than I thought. Okay, just quickly, this is the other cardigan I was talking about. I got this a fair few years ago and I live in it. It's from Urban Outfitters. Fun fact, Australians, if you spend over $50, you get free shipping, which is really awesome because Urban Outfitters has some cool stuff. That's like $50 USD. The conversion can sometimes screw you over, but I got this from there and I'm so glad I did. It's just long, it's comfortable. It's like a dressing gown, but clothes. Like I wear this out as well as just lazing around the house. So it's that perfect happy in between where you want to be super cozy, not quite a complete slop, because if you do it kind of like, not with this shirt, but you know, earthy tones maybe some like flares it like looks intentional this is great i love you so much go on the floor okay this is a denim jacket from target did i steal this one from my mum? maybe i don't like this one it's just something about the shape that i'm not really into i think i'd like it a bit baggier so this one will be going and then we have my actual like leather biker jacket that's not actually leather but it's biker jacket style moto jacket whatever you want to call it this one i got from glasses i got a size 12 just so it's a bit bigger in case i want to wear like a knit or something i'm gesturing to the knits but you can't see them and it's slightly cropped and i really like this one i was on the hunt for like a moto jacket for ages because my old one like literally the pleather whatever you want to call it faux leather it was peeling off it was worn that much this is my replacement for it it's very cute i went a bit cropped this time but i'm into it so it's keeping so it's keeping so it's being kept and i feel like this is a classic piece that you all need to have okay we have reached the unicorn puffer that i've been talking about unlike my catman do one this has a hood which is really good i still was going to stop trying everything on and here i am again so in case you're wondering why i'm keeping this and the catman do one when they're both basic black puffers number one the hood very important number two this one is a lot longer so it's good for really cold days the catman do one is as well but like this will keep me warm up to my thighs let me show you all see it's a lot longer but this one's definitely good where i really want to be rugged up as low as possible where i want my head to be covered it's like i feel like it's better for like wind and rain day because it's longer i'm just rambling okay i'm keeping both plain black puffer jackets don't come for me i apologize i'm getting a little bit loopy because i'm really really hungry and i can like see the finish line i can see like only a handful of jackets left and that means food actually there's only three jackets left guess what they are my teddy coats i'm gonna try two out of the three on because one is from factory and two are the img ones just so you can see the difference if you're wondering i feel like i think factory brought this back or a very similar one because i was in there the other day i don't know if it's the exact same but i'll just show two out of the three so because i'm holding the red one i'm going to drop this guy first but i will definitely be keeping this one it went on sale on princess polly i wasn't about to buy two of them full price i did buy the super basic brown one and then the factory one is a little bit cheaper Fair bit cheaper i don't remember okay let me just show you all. okay so this is the img01 it's a little bit bulkier than the factory one it just sort of depends on your preference but you can get these like so many places now i feel like every like online store has their own version now this one has like straight down pockets which i really like because i feel a little bit more secure because when i show you the factory one you'll see the pockets are a bit different but yes i have this in this color and in the red because i love my red and let me show you the black so this here is the factory one as you can see it's got a little bit less bulk to it it's a little bit less warm and the pockets here are the more slanted type they're not like this they're like this why am i giving you a comparison of these two jackets in a wardrobe clean out i don't know but i hope it helps someone yeah, this is actually the last jacket which i know i'll be keeping so i feel like i have two pretty substantial piles but it's hard to kind of tell because jackets are so bulky so i don't know if i have like one pile that's like four bulky jackets and then one that's all the lightweight ones i don't know so that's like everything that is all my jackets done pull out of my wardrobe now i've got to hang them all back up again i don't know why i didn't just leave them pull up in the first place but yes i'm gonna put some up on depop it might take me a little bit because shipping for jackets is gonna be a bit trickier because they are bulkier so i gotta work out what will fit into what bags will cost I hate doing all that and also i really want your feedback in the comments down below please because I literally did an entire video on one category. I didn't really expect 
that to happen but i am fast running out of daylight and i spent like an hour 20 just doing jackets i don't know i really don't know how to do this because i have a lot let me push this forward so you guys can see i still have all this sorry if things moved although they've been moving all video but my battery died literally has to do the outro but yeah i really don't know how to go forward with this series because i really want to keep doing it it's really getting me motivated to be a bit brutal because i've got like you guys watching and judging me but yeah other than that we are pretty much done for today. I am pretty pleased with how I went. Not so pleased that I now have to rehang up all the jackets because I'm an idiot, but that's okay. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. But also let me know, was there anything that I really should have kept or I kept and you're like, Caitlin, why on earth do you need that? Let me know down below. Or if there's anything else you want to say, just hi or whatever. I'm always up to say hello. And you can also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button down below and also the bell notification so you're notified when I upload for this series and other videos. And if you want, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to see more of me. I'm not sure why, but I would appreciate it. And yeah, I think that is about everything I have to say. So I hope you all have a great day or night or whatever it is for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.